So in today's lesson, we just want to make a quick extension to what you've done so far around probability distributions. So far, you've seen how you can produce a sample space from a scenario. From that sample space, you've been able to produce a probability distribution, which is in the table form, and we've been able to turn that into a probability mass function. And then to interchange in between those different forms. Well, how about if you were to combine two probability distributions? Now, this shouldn't be unfamiliar to you. If you think back to the distribution of rolling a dice, and then the distribution of the score you get when you roll two dice, there you have already combined two probability distributions to produce a new distribution, which is the combined score on the two dice. Well, that can happen with any two distributions. If we have this as our probability distribution, here the discrete random variable x represents the number of tails that you get when you flip a coin. You either get zero tails or you get one tails. 50% chance of zero, 50% chance of one. Well, we can also look at the probabilities you may get if you flip two coins. So how many tails can you get? And here in the table, here in the sample space diagram, I've laid out all of the results that we might get through the various combinations. Zero tails on the first coin, zero tails on the second coin, altogether we had zero tails. Zero tails on one coin and one tail on the other coin, we have one tail in total. Or one tail on each coin leads to two tails in total. So this is a sample space that has collected all the possible outcomes. Now I just need to find the probabilities that match these outcomes. These probabilities are going to be independent. So the probability of a zero on one coin and a zero on the other coin is going to be 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.5. And it's gonna be much the same in each of these other cells. Now I should be able to combine into a probability distribution of its own. I'm gonna call the combined score Y. The sample space for this combined distribution is zero, one, and two. And we're going to group together the probabilities of getting zero, one, and two. So looking up to the sample space diagram, there's only one way to get a zero. So the probability of zero, 0 0.25. There are two ways to get one tail. So we're gonna sum these probabilities together and we get 0 0.5. And there's only one way to get a two and we're gonna add that probability to the distribution as well. So here we have the probability distribution for the combined score made from combining two discrete probability distributions. This one was actually quite straightforward because each combination, each cell in the sample space diagram had exactly the same probability because these were equally likely outcomes. This was a uniform distribution. We should be able to do a similar thing with non-uniform distributions. Let's have a look at this example from our last lesson. Here we have a discrete probability distribution. If we had a spinner that had these probabilities of getting one, two, three, and four, and we span it twice, or we had two spinners and we added together the score, what would the probability distribution look like? Well, here's the sample space diagram. Here's all the possible outcomes that we can get from each of these combinations. What is the probability that you got a two? A two is going to come from getting a one the first time round and a one the second time round. And since these are independent events, we're going to calculate 0 0.1 times 0 0.1. The probability of getting a 2 is 0 0.01. Similarly, to find the probability of getting a score of 3, it's the probability of a 1 on the first spinner, a 2 on the second spinner, 0 0.1 times 0 0.2. And now I can do this throughout the whole table, and I can find the individual probabilities for each of these different combinations. And we first look to produce the sample space, all of the possible outcomes after we've combined the scores. And here I have them. The scores should actually go from two 
being the smallest score you might get to eight being the largest score you might get. Let's get rid of the one. We're going to start grouping these probabilities. This is the only outcome that gets us a two. So the probability of two is 0 0.01. We'll look through all the ways that we can get a three and we're gonna group those probabilities together. We'll look through all the ways that we can get a four and we'll add these probabilities together. Notice that they're not all the same. 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.03 gets us 0 0.1. There are four ways to get a score of five. Adding these probabilities together gets us 0 0.2. Three ways to get a six. These add together to get us 0 0.25. Two ways to get a seven and just a single way to get an eight. So once again, we are producing a combined probability distribution. We started off with a discrete random variable and its probability distribution. We realized we were going to have two instances. It was going to happen twice. So we set up a two way table sample space diagram. We use that to produce the combined sample space. And then we just accumulated and amalgamated the probabilities together. So just a reminder that the distribution that we start with, they're not always going to be uniform. So we do not have equally likely outcomes. There's no guarantee that any probabilities here are going to match. Each of them is distinct and we'll calculate it by multiplying the probability of the column heading with the probability of the row heading by multiplying the two independent probabilities that led to that combined score together.